in the last two videos I've talked about this formula that relates the magnetic force to the field current length and angle that the that the field makes with the current. Uh, I would let me just clarify um, a bit more about how this direction uh, this the direction of the magnetic force is related to the current direction and the field direction. Uh, I've uh, described how the force must be perpendicular to, to both the current and the magnetic field. That's one way to think about it. Now, uh, another way to think about it, uh, which might be uh, make things clearer sometimes, is to imagine a plane that contains these two uh, vectors or these two directions. Uh, uh, if, if we imagine that the, we shift the two uh, arrows until the, the tail meet each other. Now if I imagine a plane that contains those two vectors, in this particular example, uh, that would be a vertical plane. So I'm just sketching an imaginary plane. So let's, let me just imagine a plane that contains that contains the field magnetic field vector B and the current vector I. So in this case, the the uh, both current and field vectors magnetic field vectors lie on a vertical plane and. Once we have uh, determined the, the plane that the current and field uh, should would lie on, then the force direction must be perpendicular to, to this plane. In this case, if the the um, both current and field lie in the same vertical plane, then the, the magnetic force has to be in a perpendicular uh, has to be in a horizontal direction since it's perpendicular to a, to a vertical plane. Right, coming back to this formula, I have also uh, previously mentioned that the units of a magnetic field is Tesla. Now, but how would we define a Tesla? Actually, uh, there seems to be more than one way that this unit can be defined. Uh, later on, I shall talk about how this can be defined in terms of uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. How uh, it, it can be defined in terms of the way that a changing magnetic field or magnetic flux induces a current. But uh, right now, uh, I shall describe how it can also be defined uh using using this magnetic force and let me clear this off first to right to define to define a tesla to define a tesla um let me think about this situation where I have a vertical magnetic field pointing downwards, uniform field uh, covering this current, and now uh, and in this in this situation where okay where the current and field are, are perpendicular at 90 degrees okay we know that the value of the force is given by is given by force is equal to v i l okay and as we understand from this relation uh and from uh, what we know about the setup, we know that if I use a stronger uh, magnetic field, 
I would get a bigger force. Okay. And if there is a bigger current, there would also be a bigger force. So this is how one Tesla is defined. One Tesla is defined as a magnetic field that would give that would give a force of one Newton when the current is one ampere. So when the current is one ampere and and the force is one newton, then the strength of that magnetic field is defined to be one tesla. So in a way, uh, that's that's uh, how they. It, I mean, this unit is chosen so that so as to make this equation simple. It's a bit like f equals to m a. Uh, so uh, the fact that the the force is proportional to the field strength current and the length of the wire. Uh, oh yes, I must not forget the length of the wire. Wait, one two three. Yes, of course. Uh, for when and the length of the wire must be one meter. Of course, one meter. Okay, so right. So I I was going to say, uh, from from experimental measurements, uh, we can we can uh, discover that the force must be proportional to the uh, magnetic field strength, the current, and the L. But um, it is always possible to have a formula where we have a constant in front, like 2 or 10 or, or 0 0.5. For example, the reason why there is no multiplying constant in front is simply because the unit of Tesla is chosen in this way. All right? the, it's chosen such that, when, uh, in, that in SI units, when the force is 1 newton, current is 1 ampere, and the length of the wire is 1 meter, then we define the unit of magnetic field strength as 1 tesla. So just to, um, just to check that, check that it is uh, correct, let me rearrange this to make B the subject. So I can, I, I can do this by dividing both sides by I L. This gives me F over I L. And since we are saying that um, uh, the current um, the current, the length of the wire and the force are all one unit, one SI unit, we have 1 over 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. Okay. Now, if I if I simply use the units for uh, for these quantities, I should get Newton over ampere meter. Newton and Newton over ampere meter. Okay. That seems to be the unit that I'm getting, but this unit, this unit, is then defined as a Tesla. T, the T stands for Tesla. So this is how. Uh, this is one way. Okay, this is one way that uh, the unit for magnetic field strength is defined. 